Size of shapes using squared sheets, part two. Today we will learn how to measure difficult shapes and how to compare shapes based on their measurement. Dad, why are you looking at this map for so long? Vandana, I want to build a small fish pond in our farm. So I took the help of an engineer to make a map of our farm and the pond to be built in it. Look, this is the map of our farm and the pond is shown in this. I want our pond to be one fourth of the size of the field. But by looking at the map, I am not able to find out whether the pond is one fourth of our farm or not. Dad, I can help you out to find that. How? Madam has taught us to find the measure of difficult shapes, and the shape of both the farm and the pond on the map are difficult. Okay, then measure it and find out whether the measure of this pond is one fourth of the total measure of our farm or not. First, we will measure the whole farm. But how will you do that? Take a look. This farm is covering some squares completely. First, count them. One, two, three, four. One eighty three, one eighty four. The number of squares completely covered by the farm is equal to one eighty four. Now we will count the squares that are covered in half or more than half. Their number is twenty four. Some of the squares are covered in less than half by the farm. We don't count them. That means the farm has covered almost one eighty four plus twenty four squares. Therefore, this farm covered almost two hundred and eight squares. It looks like this. Now you want the pond to be built in one fourth of the farm, right? That means the pond should cover two hundred and eight divided by four squares. That is, if this pond covers almost fifty-two squares, then we can say that this pond is one fourth of the farm. Yes, you are absolutely right. Now we will count the squares covered by this pond. The number of squares that are covered completely is thirty-four. Now we will count the squares that are covered in half or more than half. Their number is eighteen. The number of squares that are covered less than half are not counted. This shows that this pond has covered thirty-four plus eighteen equal to fifty-two squares, which is one fourth of the squares that are covered by the farm. That means that the engineer has measured it correctly. This pond covers exactly one fourth of our farm. Oh wow, Vandana! You have already become an engineer. No, Dad. There is still a lot to study for that. Today you have learned that difficult shapes can be measured based on the number of squares they are covering, and while measuring the shapes. Squares that are covered in half and more than half are counted. The squares that are covered less than half are not counted.